What a lovely night here guys in St. Thomas, great evening to you. I'm visiting this part of St. Thomas, it's in the east side, it's called the Red Hook. Not sure why they call it like that, maybe it's like a shape of the hook in the bay. So it's very warm, very beautiful night here. A lot of bars, a lot of young people everywhere. So it is the downtown, I guess, of St. Thomas. If you want it a uh, busy style, that's the place to be. Before I was in uh, Charlotte, Amelia, and that was the, uh, the historical downtown. Right now I'm in the hopping, the busy place. A lot of activities going on. There's bars, there's hamburger joint, cars everywhere. They also have like a little rides here for $2. You can go from one side to another in this part. So it's only $2 and you can get a ride to visit the other side of the island. It is an evening. I did a lot of swimming today, so right now I'm going to reward myself with some eateries. I'm not sure what's on for the dinner in the menu. We're going to find out together. So shall we go and find out? why it's kinky we'll find out maybe the food will be kinky so now we order a couple of things i could not go there next door it's much better atmosphere over there but they have a lot of music they welcome me to go but you will not hear a thing you can hear it so it's very difficult to get some good sounding so i decided to be here focus on the food and then later on we can move on to the other place and enjoy some live music they have live music going on and very nice music and uh, it seems to be the, the uh, it's infusion i believe it's infusion of everything they have ceviche they have tacos nachos so it does not have a personality or an identity of uh, cuisine in my opinion i believe it's a kind of an indian infusion so they have like some curry they call it uh, mutton curry so once i see the word mutton i know that's an indian infusion so i believe it's an indian owner who's trying to get a bit of everything i did get a couple of orders i got the tacos so we have the mahi mahi tacos so it comes in three tacos, and uh, tacos, tacos, we'll find out how it is. Everybody makes taco different, but the owner said it's good. So we ordered the taco to start with, and also got the uh, fried the snapper. It looked very good, actually. You see it in the pictures. So we ordered also the snapper, and it's going to be the whole fish of the snapper. It comes with two sides, so I decided to get the uh, rice, and also I got one more side, which is the fried plantain. When you are in the Caribbean, get the plantain because it's very good and it's good flavor. She tried to send me some other stuff, but I'm going to stop at that and see how it goes. We shall wait and see how this menu will bring us for tonight. And uh, we will see. Hopefully it's good. If not, we'll move to our next spot. Different food because I'm very hungry. So cheers and we'll see you in a minute with the food. Alright guys, so he called the tacos, they look very very promising, very noisy like I said, so I hope you hear me and bear with me here, look at this taco. Let's open it up and find out what's going on. So here is the fish, the pieces of fish, let me see. Good flavor, nothing wrong with it. Seasoned very well, I cannot tell what is it fresh or not, so I like my fish to be not as seasoned as that. So, but it, it's okay I guess. So here we are. Is that a real authentic taco? Looking at it, that's not my authentic taco, the one I'm used to. I don't see much of the pico de gallo. I see a little onion, little tomatoes, touch of cheese, and lettuce. However, we're gonna give it a bite and see the whole thing together. Little bit of the lime juice. Actually, together is better, so it's good. Very, very nice. Let's kick it up a notch with some hot sauce. And that's a nice hot sauce, it looks like a good one. It says Indian in the Caribbean, so I'll try that. Oh yeah, baby, that's hot. Very nice. Not bad at all, I'm very hungry, but it tastes so good. So that's a good bite, not a bad taco. Out of uh, 10, I'll give it a six, six and a half. But it's good, it's nice, no problem at all. In my opinion, six and a half, let's say seven to be generous tonight. 
That's about it. Cheers to this fight, and let's wait for the snapper. Hopefully, the snapper will get us a better pleasure. I didn't get that shake when I get when I'm satisfied. So I'm happy, but not shaking with the pleasure of the uh, beautiful food lingering in my mouth. But it's good. Feel the hunger. Cheers, and we'll see you with the snapper in a minute. Okay, guys. So here comes the uh, king. It's actually a snapper, a deep fried snapper. The whole fish. Look at that big fish. It's some kind of sauce. I think it's a West Indies kind of sauce. I'm not sure what is that. It's kind of creamy thing. Let's try it. It's good. Buttery is something. I'm not sure what it is, but the fish looks good. So let's take a bite here. Let's break that fish. And there's nothing wrong with washing your hands before you eat and digging there. This is how I eat my fish. I don't like to eat my fish with the uh, forks and knife. How I eat that? It's a whole fish, so it has bones. So you gotta dig in with your hands. Make sure one hand is clean, which is the left one. So we're gonna open this guy here, the hot sauce here. And let's put some of this Indian hot sauce here. So we're gonna dip the fish. We're gonna dip the fish in this beautiful hot sauce. Let's celebrate it together. Have some salt and pepper, I don't think I need it. I'm just gonna go with my hands here and dig it in the hot sauce. And the lime, actually the lemon, many people think it's for decoration. To me, it's for eating, it's for fish. I wish I have a couple of more bites of this lemon, but that's all I have for now. So we go there, let's see what it tastes like. Excellent. Very hot, very good. Beautiful flavor. The fish is very clean. You can tell it's very fresh from the flesh. Look at the flesh of the fish. Very, very sharp. Very white, very nice. Very hot. Now, talk about the sauce. I'm not sure what it is. It has onion, caramelized onion. It's called West Indies cream something. Not sure what it is. It's not really like what I like, so I'm leaving the sauce behind here. I don't want it. I'm just gonna push it away because I don't want to take away from the fish. Maybe some people like it. I'm not a big, big fan of it. So the fish is good, but sauce is not. So we go for the next one. That's a fries, fried plantain. It's very hot, but I can handle that with my hands. Very creamy, very nice, and it should taste very sweet. Perfect. Very nice, very sugary, and very gummy. Very, very nice flavor. Contrast of the flavor. You call me crazy, I like to dig that in the hot sauce, and I have a contrastive flavor. The sweetness with the heat it does it for me. I really like it. So we go again, I like that plantain. I'm nothing wrong with not liking a sauce. It doesn't mean I'm a bitchy like, or anything like that. When you don't like something, it doesn't mean that everybody else doesn't. Maybe you'll love it, but I don't. So I'm liking the plantain, I'm liking the fish. So two out of three is perfect. Very nice, nice bite. Now, let's go with the rice. Take this guy out of here. And let's try some of that rice. Look like a saffron rice. Said actually it's like a seasoned rice. Very nice saffron rice, nothing wrong with it. It has a hint of curry and turmeric. I would say it has turmeric, which is very yellowish kind of a uh, spice. Turmeric looks like a ginger, but yellow, and it gives you that kind of color. So it's a turmeric rice. And that's about as herbs as it gets. It's a seasoned rice, and it's seasoned with turmeric, nothing wrong with that. And turmeric is very good for you, by the way. It has a lot of antioxidants, and it takes a lot of inflammation out of your body. So if you wonder why people eat uh, turmeric, because it's beautiful, it's good for you. Not just pretty color, but it's good for anti-inflammation. It takes a lot of uh, sore muscles away. I really like it. One more bite of the fish. A little bit of the fish, a little bit of the sauce, and uh, top it up with some hot sauce, as you know me already. So we make it nice and hot and fiery for you. So let's see how that bite will bring. That's a good amount of sauce here. Don't forget to put a squeeze of lime. And let's go crazy here, put a little bit of this plantain here on the top of it. And let's have a gigantic kind of a bite. And let's go, one, two, three, hey. Very nice. Fish, plantain, rice, wonderful, I like it. Very nice bite, beside the sauce, everything was good. So this snapper, it was good, it does it for me. I really like it, I enjoyed it actually. I'm gonna finish this fish, it'll be only a bone here, so you can see the whole fish here. Don't be scared of it. If you wanna eat good fish, go for the whole fish. Do not go for these fillets, because fillets mean frozen. Maybe it's not good. 
But usually when you have a whole fish on an island like that, that means the fish is fresh. But don't take my word for it. Look at the color of it. Feel the texture. Feel the flavor. And then you're gonna find out. So that's a good island fish and a very good flavor. Cheers to you guys. And I recommend the fish. Tacos, no. So the fish is good. I'll give that about an eight and a half. It's good, eight and a half. And I'm happy with that. Very, very nice. Sauce is good. I made my night. I'm gonna finish the minutes, the whole fish. And I'm gonna have a beer and we'll talk later. So I'll see you in a minute once I finish that fish. Now I sit in peace, I do my thing, and you do your thing, and we'll meet in a minute. summarize my trip to this uh, kinky merry maid I guess it was in the kinky so the fish was okay but everything else was so so mediocre so my opinion the fish was good so if you want to go for a night like live music over there you will enjoy it so if you're in a mood for a little bite you can come here and you have a little bite to eat maybe just little appetizers my suggestion don't go for big meals it's not worth it my opinion just have a drink have a beer and go listen to this music it's beautiful there's no charge of course to get in so that's a good thing and it's a nice atmosphere if you're in the mood but food wise i'm gonna actually i'm not uh, the food did not turn me on yet so i'm still in need of something so i'm gonna go have a burger from the other place i showed you earlier on in the video and let's go so we didn't finish the video yet i'm gonna have my dinner this was like something i ate hopefully it was my dinner but it wasn't so i'm gonna go and have a burger for one of the places it was recommended so let's go and check it out So as you heard me bitching about the other place, uh, Kinky Mermaid, I wasn't happy at all and I'm still hungry. So that didn't do it for me. So I don't want to go to bed sad, I have to go to bed happy. So I came to this place called The Tap and The Still. I read about a good review, so hopefully that would be the lucky choice. You get a little pencil and you mark whatever burger you want. It's very simple, it's just a bar. Very nice, the, the bay is right there, so you get a nice breeze from the water. The Caribbean right there so you don't see anything at night but uh, we're gonna have burger we're gonna get the, uh, the double cheeseburger order and you can order as many condiments as you want so I put some of that condiments all together and order a beer and let's see what's that burger look like I'm looking forward to finish that night in a good terms all right guys so let's see that burger in a second okay came my burger that's my menu and now let's go to simplicity nice beautiful American burger looks good double cheeseburger oh yeah baby no napkins nothing just like that and i put some grilled onion i got some napkins over there i can go help myself and let's dig in the bite forget napkins let's get to the de real deal very nice burger very juicy two patties nothing wrong with that i wish i came here before that's a very good burger only ten dollars but beautiful huh? beautiful cheesy burger nothing wrong with the american classic it's the best food and that's a beautiful burger now i'm gonna go to bed after that just wash it with a, some beer of course and then go to the bed in a very happy note so guys thanks for watching the video if you haven't subscribed please do so and uh, hit that like subscribe button so you can see the next videos from san thomas with love i'll see you soon